we are going to discuss an electrolysis system where we try to electroplate an iron kettle with silver. When you try to electroplate an iron kettle with silver, there are a few things, according to the knowledge you have, there are a few things that we have to take into consideration. The first point is this. We have to use an electrolyte. We have to use an electrolyte containing silver ion. Electrolyte containing silver ions. Silver ion. Silver ion is Ag plus. Now the best silver plus ion containing solution is silver nitrate, AgNO3, because any nitrate ion, a uh, nitrate compound is water soluble. So unlike other silver compounds, silver nitrate is highly water soluble. So that's the first point. Second point is, if you are going to electroplate a kettle, then kettle should be used as a cathode. And the anode must be carbon, carbonographite. Or we can use silver also, silver metal. So we can arrange an electrolysis system to electroplate a kettle made up of iron using silver. So for that, we have to have an apparatus I will construct the electrolysis cell step by step, and we will see how exactly the system is going to work. You can see here a beaker. I'll label the beaker first. There's a beaker containing, as I said earlier, silver nitrate solution. <laughs> Beaker containing silver nitrate solution. This is a beaker, and this is the silver nitrate solution. And afterwards, I have to uh, fix the anode, cathode, and the DC source. Let's see how the system works. Uh, before that, we'll arrange the diagram. You can see this diagram where uh, a small kettle has been fixed. It is dipped in the silver nitrate solution. And on the other side, uh, probably we can take, let's say, carbon electrode. This is carbon electrode. You have to remember one thing. Now, a heading is electroplating an iron kettle. And you should know the size of the beaker. In reality, you can't use a beaker to electroplate a kettle because kettle is much bigger. So I'm trying to explain to you the theory of this. Don't think about the comparative size of it. Now we have to connect the DC source. Always the metal where the electroplating is done, should be used as a cathode. And then anode here is used as, is made up of carbon, carbon anode. 
you must know carbon anode is inert. Chalcedic ions present in the solution. In the silver nitrate solution, we have four different types of ions. First one is silver, coming from silver nitrate. Nitrate ions, again, coming from silver nitrate. Hydrogen ions, coming from water. And OH negative ions, from the water. Because this carbon electron is the anode, it has to be positively charged. And then the kettle must be negatively charged because it's a cathode. If I connect this to the cell, DC source, you draw the long line for the positive and short one for the negative. When the circuit is complete, nitrate ion goes to anode. OH negative ions also go to anode. There are two ions traveling towards the anode. And the silver ion, which is a cation, Hydrogen ion, also a cation, go towards the cathode. Once ions go towards the anode and cathode, anode and cathode reactions begin to occur. So we'll start with anode half reaction and go to the cathode half reaction afterwards. Even though two anions, nitrate, nitrate ions and OH negative ions go towards the anode, both are not able to react. For the reaction, hydroxyl ions participate because when solution contains nitrate ions with hydroxyl ion, is always OH negative ions that react. So if I write the anode reaction, we are very familiar with this equation. There are four OH ions, four hydroxyl ions participating in the reaction, giving out four electrons plus two H2O plus oxygen gas. This is the balance equation for the reaction happening at the anode. As this reaction happens, <coughs> you can see at the anode, which is on the left-hand side, gas bubble formation on the surface, gas bubbles are formed. You can see oxygen gas bubble formation in this manner. Tiny gas bubbles are from the very big ones. O2 gas. I will go to the cathode reaction. Before coming to cathode reaction, you must realize the electrons which are produced in the anode reaction, you know anode reaction is always oxidation reaction. The electrons produced at the anode reaction are going to add into the circuit and electrons go to the cathode side from the anode side. Now to the cathode, silver ions travel, H plus signs also go. If you check the reactivity series, we have hydrogen at a high level, silver at a lower level. Always at the cathode reaction where the reduction occurs, 
what participates in the reaction is an ion coming from a lower level in the reactive series. So in this case, when we have hydrogen and silver together, hyd uh, silver ions are low reactive. So for the cathode reaction, what participates is silver ions. So I can write silver plus in aqueous form. Take the electrons coming through the circuit because it has plus one, I can adjust one electron. The product is going to be silver metal. The silver metal is solid. This is a reduction reaction. Cathode reaction is reduction. Let me write that word because uh, if all the information is there on the screen, you can understand what happens well. So reduction is this. I will label anode reaction as one, cathode reaction as two, because I need to discuss the overall reaction for this reaction system. When you construct the complete reaction, or cell reaction, overall reaction, redox reaction, there are so many names for this. We have to think about one thing. The number of electrons at the anode reaction and the number of electrons at the cathode reaction must be equal. So, when you write the overall reaction, taking that into consideration, I will write overall reaction. We'll try to add the two reactions. Number one, reaction number one. Plus reaction number two. But remember, the reaction number two has to be multiplied by four. So the number of electrons will be equal. And straight away, I can write the overall reaction now. When you write the overall reaction, what we do is the reactants in the anode reaction and the reactants in the cathode reaction are added together on the left-hand side of the overall reaction. So I'm having four OH minus plus the silver, when you multiply the second equation by four, number of silver ions become four. 4AG plus, plus electron number is four. Those are the only reactants. Now the products from the equation number one, there are two H2O molecules plus oxygen. I forgot to insert four electrons, plus four electrons. As there's only one product from the equation two, which is silver, because it is multiplied by four, I get four silver. I have not inserted physical states. On the left-hand side, we have four electrons that will cancel with four electrons on the right-hand side, on the product side. And now we can write the remaining part, four OH minus, plus four AG plus as a reactants and products are going to be two H2O plus O2 
plus four silver. This is the overall reaction. This is a basic lesson about electroplating. A metal kettle, a metal kettle I have used in this experiment, in this discussion, but you can use it for anything. If you understood this concept, then probably we can think about a questionnaire. There are so many different types of questions uh, that are possible from this sort of a question. But we see some basic set of questions. This question gives you a clear picture about silver plating a metal kettle. The question is this. An iron kettle was silver plated using the kettle and a carbon electrode suitable. The question is asking you to draw a suitable diagram for this electrolysis. I have done it for you. All what we have to do is just to go through this and try to realize how it has been constructed according to the important points that you must remember when it comes to handling an electroplating question. We'll see now. The diagram is done. Study a little bit. You can see the cathode, kettle, anode. We have used graphite. Name a solution for the electrolyte. Actually, I have given the solution also. The solution I can suggest for this is silver nitrate. The reason is silver nitrate solution is highly Water soluble. We have to have a very good soluble substance for this. So, name a solution for electrolyte. We can write silver nitrate. And then construct a half equation for reactions that occur at anode. Anode, we have anions, nitrate ions and hydroxyl ions. Hydroxyl ions participate in the reaction. Four OH minus ions give four electrons, two H2O, and oxygen. Cathode. At the cathode, there are two cations, hydrogen ions and silver ions. Silver ions participate in the reaction for the cathode reaction because silver ions are silver. Silver is lower reactive than hydrogen. For the cathode reaction, some less reactive substance participate. Silver. I can add physical states. Silver aqueous on the left hand side. On the right hand side, silver solid is there. Silver ions are actually Ag plus. Explain what is observed at the anode, cathode, and in the electrolyte as the reaction proceeds. We'll see. Explain what is observed at the anode, cathode, and the electrolyte as a reaction. According to how I explained earlier, we'll write what happens at the anode. Nitrate and hydroxyl ions travel towards the anode but at the presence of nitrate ions, hydroxyl ions react producing oxygen gas.
we can write in an oxidation reaction. Similarly, we can talk about what is happening at cathode also. Hydrogen ions and hydrogen ions travel towards the cathode. But silver ions react in preference to in preference to hydrogen ions because silver is low reactive. Silver is lower reactive. Silver is lower reactive than hydrogen. So silver metal deposits on the kettle as silver metal. Come on in a reduction reaction. Now, if you think about what is happening at the cathode, we had to think about the ions present in the solution first. The ions present in the electrolyte are Ag plus, nitrate ions, NO3 minus, hydrogen ions from water, and OH negative ions also from water. And we discussed at the anode reaction, hydroxyl ions react. At the cathode, silver ions react. So finally, the system contains nitrate ions and hydrogen ions. You know, when hydrogen ion and nitrate ions come together, it is HNO3. So the silver nitrate solution slowly changes to dilute nitric acid. In other words, acidity of the solution increases so that we can write in this manner. When silver ions and hydroxyl ions react, at the electrodes, the concentration of H plus ions concentration of hydrogen ions and nitrate ions increase. In other words, the acidity of the electrolyte increases. This electroplating question is very much of a typical reaction type you get in your papers. However, this question can be modified, changing anode graphite to the graphite can be changed to silver. And exam can give another solution, even though I have chosen silver nitrate. And the kettle I have used here as a cathode. But then in the exam, it can be something else, maybe a spoon or a fork or whatever it is. 
any metal object. What matters is not the type of object, the metal object has to be used as a cathode. I guess uh, this explanation has clearly uh, explained to you how we have to handle an electroplating reaction system. The next part we will discuss about another application of electrolysis.